All right, parents, I'm making this for you. This is all about different addition strategies that we have for adding two digit numbers together. Um, I'm going to go a little bit faster, but I promise that I will break this up in the future videos to go slower. Though your kids could probably teach you this pretty quickly. Um, we're going to cover the partial or open number line, the expanded notation, which is what your kids came up with. Um, it's also called partial sums and base 10 shorthand. I promise you it's not scary. So after showing my husband the video that I made, he suggested that I start with real-time problems because he understood it in the real time and then break it down slow. So if you need it broken down slower, stay tuned um, to after the first two problems that I do. I also do some carrying over problems last. Okay, so now I'm going to do this in real time so you can see what it looks like. So my problem is 52, I think plus 33 is what I did here. So I started with the 52 and then I'm going to count by tens for 33. So it looks like this, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. Now I count by tens, 62, 72, 82, 83, 84, 85. So my answer is 85. In expanded notation, it will look like 50 plus 2 is 52 and 30 plus 3 is 33. 50 plus 30 is 80. 2 plus 3 is 5, so my answer therefore is 85. In base 10 shorthand, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, and 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, and when I add them out all up, that's going to be 80 plus 5 is 85. I think I counted up the tens and then the ones and put it into a number model for you there. And, sorry that screen got cut off a bit. Here's another one. Let's do um, 23 plus 46. You can do this with almost anything. Um, for this case, I'm going to do least top. So I'm going to start with 46. We talked about that being more efficient. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. So 46, remember these big hops equal 10. So 46, 56, 66. 67, 68, 69. So my answer therefore is 69. Again, in expanded notation, I'm going to pull those numbers apart. 23, 20 plus 3, 46, 40 plus 6. 20 plus 40 is 60. 3 plus 6 is 9. Therefore, my answer is 69. And in base 10 shorthand, it will look like this. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Again, I set that up in base 10 shorthand. So count up my 10s first. I get 60. I'm going to put my um, 3 in there just so I can see it very quickly that it's 9. My answer is 69. All right, parents. So what I'm going to try and do here is um, I'm going to give you three two-digit addition problems, and I'm going to show you how to do them with an open number line, expanded notation, which again is the partial sums, but your children called it expanded notation, and I will explain later why, and base 10 shorthand. So we're going to start at the open number line. I had to slow my hand down because I did this pretty quickly. Um, in open number line, what your child will need to be able to do is count by tens, starting with a different number, so like 48, 58, 68, and so on. Um, we talked about how um, these are like turnaround facts. You can start either way, but um, I'm going to, I think I start with 48 here. Um, you can start with 33 if you wanted to and add 48 to it, or you could start with 48 and add 33 to it. Um, later on in our discussions, we talk about more efficient ways, um, so how we would know which way would be easier and faster to solve it. But again, we're slowing it way down for the parents because I know we all learn this a little differently. So we start with 48. And then we're going to add 33. So I'm going to make hops by 10. So I'm going to go 10. And then another hop will um, be 20. And then another one, which will be 30. I'm making those bigger just to remind myself that I counted by 10s for those three. And then I'm going to do three little baby ones. So 30. And then there's 31, 32, and 33. So the way your child sees this problem is 48 plus the hops, again, which are 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. And then they're going to count. So 48 plus 10 is 58, then 68, and then that last hump is 78. In our classroom, 
I tell them to write that down just because I like to see their thinking in case there's a breakdown and um, what may have gone wrong. By the way, we celebrate mistakes because we kind of learn more about our thinking and how numbers work. But so adding the 30 got you to 78, and then we add by 1. So 78, 79, and then 80, and then that last hump will be 81. So that's how that works um, for adding by 10s with the open number line. Some of your kids prefer that strategy. Um, what we've been trying to do is trying to learn it with different strategies because what happens is they get comfortable with one strategy and they think they don't want to try it another way, but then they try it another way and they find out um, it actually works really well. So now we're going to move on to the expanded notation. In case you don't know what expanded notation is, I'm just going to break apart the numbers. And we practiced this a lot before we got to the actual addition. So to expand 48, it's just like it sounds, 48. So we'll write 40 plus 8, which is going to go very slow. And again, um, we've already broken this strategy down even faster, but I'm giving you um, where we started so that you can kind of see our thinking. And then we're going to break up 33. And again, I tell them it's just like it sounds, 30 plus 3, 33. And the reason I'm writing it this way um, is because it, I'm writing it how we say it. And also what we're going to do then is we are going to get partial sums, which is how our math program refers to this strategy. But your kids actually came up with this before I taught it to them. Um, and they call it expanded notation. So that's what we call it in our classroom. So 40 plus 30, they can count that really quickly and they know that that is 70. I just realized I did the hardest problem first in this video since we're carrying over. Um, and then eight plus three, they know this very quickly too because of our 10 framework. So they know eight plus two is 10. So therefore eight plus three is going to be 11. Um, we've done lots of practice um, with adding numbers that end in a zero with another number. So they can do this very quickly too and get to 81. Um, later I will show you more with this strategy how some of them are skipping um, a step altogether with this where they might just say, you know, 48 plus 33 is 78 and then just adding, you know, 79 or, 30, or wait, 78. 79, 80, 81. It's hard for me to watch this video going slow, slow. And then finally is base 10 shorthand, which is actually where we started because we started with manipulatives. Um, if you've ever seen us using the tens and ones um, little blocks. And we do that just to kind of give them a better visual um, that if you put 10 little ones together, you'll have one 10. And what I'm drawing right now is tens. And I'm drawing four of them to represent 40. So it went 10. 20, 30, 40, and then I'm adding 41, 42, and I will get up to 8. Now in our class we talked about um, it makes sense to us and it was more efficient if we set up our ones dots kind of like we do in a 10 frame because we can see those very quickly. So we keep 5 down for 5 and then we put 6, 7, and 8 on the top. Um, again, since we have done so much back work with 10 frame, kids will know quickly that um, another two will make an, a complete 10. So right now you'll see 48 that I've drawn out and now I'm going to do 33. So that will look like this. I got 10, then 20, and then 30. And finally, then I'm going to do 33. So it looks like 31, 32, and then 33. So again, what this does is it's kind of like when we were younger and we did the carrying over and we didn't maybe quite see why we were doing this. This kind of shows the why. So see, I have those two spaces that are missing. So I can take two... Um, from my 33, which is on below, which I'm going to cross out in a minute, but I'm going to fill that up with two dots, so I know that's 10, and I'm going to cross out these two down here. 
because now what I have is I have a complete 10 set that I have made. So I'm going to push all of those little ones together because they equal 10, and I'm going to write another 10 um, down here. I think that's what I did next, or maybe I circled it. I'm sorry, this is going slow, or maybe it's going too fast for you. I probably should have talked as I was doing this, but I was listening to music. Okay, so see, there's a whole group of 10. And I'm going to take that 10, and again, I'm just going to move it over here um, and put a whole new 10 down. And that then the kids will count those out. When we're first starting out, we actually sometimes use the actual manipulatives and the blocks. Um, manipulatives are really good for the young kids because they get to kind of see um, the representation of numbers and it, and it just becomes more clear to them. So trust your teacher um, when they tell you that what we're doing isn't all crazy and it makes sense. So now I'm counting those tens that I made. So I've got 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and then I've got the 81 left over. So again, your kiddos are going to know um, that it's 81. Sometimes they'll write a number model. By the way, number model is just a fancy talk for like um, an addition sentence or um, an equation, whatever you may have heard of. Like 48 plus 33 is a number model. So anyway, that's a slower version of these three strategies. Thanks for watching. Again, parents, this was for you. I will make more videos for your kids to practice. Hang in there.